Hi, my name is Jenna Jardim and I'm an embryologist and the IVF laboratory manager here at Vitalab Santon. So what does being an embryologist mean to me? If I'm able to take my knowledge, my skills and my experience in the field of assisted reproduction and combine it with the passion that I have for helping patients and individuals walk through Vitalab's doors as patients and leave as parents, then that is truly the most amazing feeling in the world. Hi, my name is Brittany. I'm an embryologist here at Vitalab. Um, what is uh, the reason I came into this field? Um, that's because my two greatest passions in life is family and helping people. So this just aligned both of those passions where I can help people have families. Hi, my name is Chantal Gabea and I'm an embryologist here at Vitalab. What is my favorite task to perform as an embryologist? Um, I love performing micromanipulation. So that entails the ICSI procedure as well as the biopsy procedure. And both these techniques are quite intricate techniques that are performed in the IVF laboratory. Hi, my name is Kimela Kruger and I am an embryologist at Vitalab. What is the role of an embryologist? Well, the most important role of an embryologist is embryo creation. We are specialized scientists working in the IVF laboratory and we are responsible for handling the eggs, the sperm and the embryos. Our important tasks start from the very moment the doctor retrieves the eggs from the female patient, followed by sperm preparation, insemination and then the evaluation of embryo development. Salonan, my name is Cindy Swam Masilela and I am an embryologist at Vitalab. How long have I been an embryologist at Vitalab? I've been blessed to work in this beautiful facility for five years now. Hi, my name is Marley DeVette. I am an embryologist from Vitalab. So where did I study? So I studied at TUT where I did my theoretical years. I did my first practical year at, this, at Steve Beaker and then I completed my studies at Vitalab. My favourite task as an embryologist is to do denudation. That's when we clean the oocyte, we clean the cumulus so that we can see the maturity of the egg and then we would know how many we can inseminate.